In the last few years, Malayalam cinema got a big boost, which they definitely deserved because of the OTT platforms. It's not that they decided to make good films just now. They have always made great films, but now they got a platform where people could view the films. It became accessible, and everyone talks about how Malayalam cinema is grounded. It's realistic. It has so many nuances. It's so authentic. Take the example of thrillers like Joji, Nayat, Virus, then social dramas like The Great Indian Kitchen, Kumbalangi Nights, Pudu, and there are so many more. But if you know. Notice something. It's the serious films which are always talked about. The films with mature content and mature themes. And I have seen a lot of complaints regarding Malayalam cinema in my comments or social media that they keep making same type of films and that it's getting boring. Now, whatever I have explored in Malayalam cinema, I have seen my share of few classic films, and a lot of them are serious films, but there are comedy films too, like Mohanlal's Chitram, Chandra Lekha, Narodi Cut, Mani Chitrathar, which became Bool Bulaiya, and even with the younger filmmakers today, Kunni Ramai. Na, oh my God! I laughed throughout that film. Mahishanti Pratikaram. And in recent times, we got a superhero film in Manal Murli, an amazing satire in Nathan K. Skodu, and the most successful Malayalam film, Romancham, which is a horror comedy. So you know, there is a mix of everything. But there have been few films in the last one year that has shown us an other side, an other dimension of Malayalam cinema. These were some of the most craziest films which blew our minds. And we beg the question: How does Malayalam cinema do it every time? Coming up with Something fresh, something unique, experimenting, reinventing themselves. So let's talk about five such films, and you can let me know your thoughts in the comments about them. The first one is Jane Man. We actually did a reaction to this film. You can check out on the channel. I'll link it here with Ashmita Cheji from Ayesh Director and Review. And this film is chaotic, and it's surprising that it's flawless. It does it so well. The film is totally unpredictable. There are so many unexpected twists and turns, and the way the film starts, you can never imagine how it will end. You have never seen anything like this. And I love the theme and the message of the film. It's talking about loneliness. It's talking about hate, trauma, and how all of it can be solved by empathy and love. At the end of the day, we all are humans, and we should just accept each other and live a better life. But all of this is done through situational comedy at its best. The next one is Jaya 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 Hey. I think the best way to describe this film is what if the Great Indian Kitchen was a comedy film. That's it. Now, in the film's build up, it does get to very serious points, but when the turn happens, it becomes Comes a satirical angle to tackle patriarchy. If you are someone who was really pissed off in the Great Indian Kitchen, in this one we see the fight back. The performances are so good. I love the blunt depiction of misogyny in this, and you know it's fresh to see the character fight back, and you enjoy that justice. The next one is Purusha Pratham or the Male Ghost. Now this one came out this year, a neo noir police investigation satire. The film literally explores so many things and does justice to each one of them. And the biggest hurdle of this kind of film is that you don't feel. Connected to any character, you don't feel any emotion, but that's not the case for this film. You feel for the characters. There is, in a way, a butterfly effect in the play. The way the narratives of different characters get entangled, the way it exposes the system, the social commentary, and over that amazing filmmaking, the camera angles, the lighting. There's so much visual humor in it. Again, something very fresh and unique. The next one is Mukundan Unni Associates. Oh my God, what a dark film! It is a dark comedy, and it's basically the story of the villain, where he never loses. He wins. He goes through ups and downs, but At the end, he wins, and throughout the film, you are in the mind of the character. You are hearing all his thoughts, and through that, the film creates humor. The character is transparent to us, and we see how disgusting he is. But still, we root for him, and that's weird. Truth, justice, throw all of that out. The film is commenting on the real truth of the world, how it's unfair, and what one has to do to really make it. And with that, the film also experiments the way it's shot. It plays with the aspect ratio, even with a unique script. They are experimenting. And the last one is Thalu Mala, which basically. Means chain of fights or a ballad of fights. I'm sure you would have heard this term that the film works on the paper, but it's not executed well. Here it's the opposite. I cannot imagine the film working on the paper, but I know how they pulled it off because visually it works. It's basically a narrative traveling through different fights over the years. The film is a visual overdose. The cinematography, the editing, the transitions, the action choreography. One of my favorites ever I've seen in Indian cinema, which is not over the top. It's basically how people fight on the street, but done cinematically. The best part in the film should be the action, but that's not the case. It's the screenplay because there's a whole segment in the film where, because of genius screenplay, the tension is so high it literally feels like a pressure cooker. Watching it, you are losing yourself because you cannot take it anymore, and that's the amazing part of the film. Now, all of these films are great, but in this video, I talked about how Malayalam cinema is in danger because the films are not working in the box office. To know more, watch this video next. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button. Share this, and I'll see you next time.